Hey, YouTube, Joe here. So we're going to do a quick little video here today in the woodshop. Uh, this is for my secondary channel, the Joe O Woodshop, as opposed to my main channel, Joe O's channel, where I cover uh, paddling, cycling, uh, paddle building, food dehydrating for the bath country, various things like that. This second channel, this is just for what goes on in woodshop, workshop sort of stuff, uh, paddle building, other woodworking types of uh, activities, and talking about tools a little bit, and just general workshop stuff. Anyways, today what we're doing, we've got a paddle blank glued up here, uh, Western Red Cedar, two-piece Greenland paddle, and I've got the lines marked on it. I don't know how well that shows up on the camera. But uh, basically what we have is from the start of the blade to the widest section, we have a line coming out on both sides. We're going to run that through the bandsaw and get rid of a bunch of wood. Then we're going to take the sides once this is cut out and put side profile lines on and run it through again in this orientation, remove some of the excess wood before we start doing the smoke shape work. So that's what we're going to do right now. Before I get going on that, if you do me a favor, as I'm building up this new channel, uh, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below, okay? That will really help me out a lot, and I appreciate that. Okay, yeah, so let's get started. So far from that, now these are going to be reused for uh, another project using the good face to glue back on for another project. So here we have the rough shape of the paddle in this orientation. What we're going to do next is mark a center line on the end of the paddle and then two secondary lines spaced out a little bit. Transfer that onto the sides. Center line, that center line will be drawn here. And then profile lines from here down to where we want the narrower part of the blade. Now, if you 
back to do that in a couple of minutes. Okay, so we're back. Give you a close up look here on the end, how I have the three lines here. And going up the blades as well, center line, and then two older lines. And we're going to cut off to the outside of those lines, remove a lot of the excess wood. button and leave some comments down below and that's it for now i'll be back soon